If I had nine lives like cats do, <laughs> um, I would adopt Elton every single time. There would be no question about that. I first saw Elton on the Best Friends Instagram page. It was during an adoption special for senior cats and he just stood out to me. So I knew he was a hospice cat and I didn't know much else other than that he had cancer. And that's when I decided that I wanna give this cat a home for sure. He's coming home with me. It was a brand new adventure, didn't know where it was gonna go, but I knew it was gonna be something good. He had squamous cell carcinoma. Typically it's a treatable cancer, but it was on an inoperable spot. That's why there was no treatment for him. He did see an oncologist while I had him and that also helped with his quality of life so that he could continue to do the things that he liked doing. I was warned that he was a little bit spicy. So him being spicy was one of the fun parts about his personality and he definitely calmed down once he had time to settle in. I think that's how he survived being a cat with cancer for so long is because he had a passion for life. He loved to play, he loved his brothers that he got to have in our house. I wanted him to know like what a family was and that he was part of a family. I wanted him to feel really confident. He loved everyone in my family. He would sit by my dad while my dad worked from home. He was a joy to have around completely. So we had Elton a little bit over a year. I was prepared for his time to be short. I never knew how long it was going to be. And so I wanted to make sure he got to experience as many things as possible in however much time we had. So I started taking him everywhere with me. I got him a stroller. He loved car rides, which was really surprising. And then I also found out that he loved meeting new people. So if I had to run errands, I would just take him with me. We just tried to make every little moment with him really special and really memorable. There's nothing I regret about adopting Elton. I would definitely do it all over again. One of the things I was the most worried about is that I wouldn't know when it was time for him to go because as a pet owner, sometimes that responsibility falls on you to make that decision. I was always thinking about his quality of life and like, is he happy? He definitely had more good days than bad days. And even the day he passed, he was still so happy. He woke up and he said good morning to everyone. I did a lot of just living in the moment with him and I think that's what was so life-changing about it. Sometimes life is short and when you find a moment to go experience, you've got to take it. Those memories stay with you forever. I got Elton's paw print tattooed on my arm. It's from an ink print from him. While he passed, I sang him an Elton John song just to comfort him and that's the lyrics to the song I sang him. He completely changed my outlook on hospice animals and myself being able to adopt a hospice animal. I didn't think I was someone that had the capacity to do that before I adopted Elton. I really want people to have an open mind to thinking about adopting a hospice cat. It can seem like it's gonna be a really scary thing, but in the end, it wasn't really scary. It was a really beautiful time that I had with him.